Okay, guys, I totally lied. I actually did have something for you today, and I forgot. Yesterday, I sat down because it was bugging me, and I had to try to figure out what I'm going to do with my upcoming cycles all the way up until IVF. So I printed out these calendars, and I um, jotted down, you know, where I started the cycle, where I'm at, and I timed everything out, and basically... What it's going to end up looking like is because I'll have, a, I don't want to be in P2 or P3 when my husband's family comes to visit. And so, and, I, and I'm really not going to be anyway, but I was just trying to figure out because I had like maybe two extra weeks of wiggle room before I could, in between where I would finish this round and when I would start the next round, but I didn't want to start the next round too soon and then be in P2 while they were here. So I had to play around with the dates and here's what I came up with. And I think it'll be okay, so tell me what you think. Okay, so like I said, I had two extra weeks to play with, maybe three in between rounds, where I didn't want to start because then I would, then I would be in P2 when they would come. So, what I'm going to do is extend this round an extra week, providing everything goes well. I will say on VLCDs one more week than normal. So instead of going to VLCD 40, I will go to VLCD 47 and then do no drops for three days and proceed on to the P3. I'll stay in P3 for three weeks and then I'll convert to P4. And then I will stay in P4 for five weeks. No. Yes, for, for five weeks. So, and actually that's recommended that you extend your P4 an additional two weeks in between rounds. By doing that, that allows me to be in P4 while his family is here for vacation. Then the weekend, at the end of that week while they're still here that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday they actually leave on Saturday that'll be my load days to start my next cycle and then I'm going to load and the very last round I'm going to do is going to be the when I start loading that'll be August 12, August 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th then I'm going to do a 3 week, a 21 day round of HCD VLCDs. And what that will do is put me out until Monday, August 27th, at which point I'm going to do three days of no drops transition. And then that will put me into P3 on the day that my friend comes to visit for the weekend. She'll be here for like well, actually, she'll show up on a Wednesday night, which is my last day of no drops. And then Thursday morning, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'll have transitioned into P3 while she's here, which is fine with me. I don't need to be in P4 while she's here. It's only four days, and, you know, it's fine. So, and actually, that'll time everything out perfectly because... On August 29th, which is my last day of no drops, is when I'm supposed to get my period. And the reason that matters is because that will be cycle day one for me of starting my um, fertility, going into my fertility treatments. So it's perfect because I won't be on drops. I won't be on very low calories. Um, my body will be reacclimating. It'll be very clean detoxified and ready for the next journey in my life. So even though I really wanted my last round to stay on until I kind of lost everything that was left to lose, a 21 day round is going to have to do. And to me, a 21 day round is better than nothing at all. So, so I'll do the 21 days. And besides, we pretty much for the most part lose the bulk, the majority of our weight in the first three weeks, I think, of HCG. I mean, anything beyond that is two or three pounds a week if I'm lucky. So, you know, by cutting it short, yeah, I might not lose another two, four, six, seven pounds. Um, but that's fine because 
it is what it is and that's what time I have left on the calendar so I'm very excited I made this calendar out for myself I also made one out for my husband because he's going to do the amino diet um, in a couple weeks here and so that one is pretty much I don't know I know I've mentioned it on here before um, to you guys but I don't know if you remember or if you saw it but basically it's very similar to the HCG diet the people who do it used to sell HCG and then when the FDA came in and had a little hissy fit over the homeopathic drops and things had to change they switched over to what they're calling the um, um, the amino diet and so um, that one offers a little bit more flexibility because you can do a thousand calories a day and you can have more choices of fruits more choices of vegetables you're required to have at least one fat a day and um, I'm trying to think what else that's different but it's still no sugar, no starches like HCG. Um, and you're allowed to exercise on that one too. And supposedly you're supposed to be, like it's supposed to be the equivalent of HCG in terms of weight loss. So, you know, I thought that would be a little bit easier because HCG is, is pretty hardcore. And usually people who have tried everything end up coming to this as a last resort. Well, my husband's just starting to try basically. He's not really like been trying to do anything. And so I think that the, the amino diet is maybe more appropriate for him than this. Um, it offers him more options. You get to have like five servings of protein a day and each serving is five ounces. And so it's definitely um, a lot more flexible, a lot less strict. And so he's going to give that a shot for 30 days. I have a 90 day supply. But I told him, go ahead and do 30 days. And with that one, you only have to wait three weeks in between rounds. You do like a P3 transition, and then you can go right back into it if you want. So he'll do 30 days, and then he'll go off it right before his family comes as well. So we'll both be off of our plans. And then I told him after his family leaves, if he wants to transition you know, back into it a week later, then he can and um, try to do another 30 days. But you can go as long as 90 days on that without breaking, which is pretty cool. And that's the reason I got it, because I thought, oh, if I want, if I have to go off HCG to stop my, for, to start my fertility treatments, but I still wanted to lose weight, that I could probably do that. Um, the only issue with this amino diet is it's brand new, so there's not like a lot of research behind it. Um, but I looked into it, and it looks like it's you know, it's all home. It's all natural supplements. There's nothing weird in it. So I think we're going to have him give it a try. I guess my husband will be the guinea pig for it. So um, I'm excited. I'm so excited for him. I think he's going to do amazing. And I hope that he does. And I hope he finds it inspiring and gets excited every time he gets on the scale. And it makes him want to do another round because, you know, I'm really concerned about his health and diabetes. And he's got you know, sleep apnea and stuff like that going on. So he could really uh, benefit from doing this. And I am so excited for him that he's, he's going to give it a shot. So hooray. Anyway, see, I turned it into another eight minute video. I'm so sorry, but I really wanted to share my plan with you. See what you guys thought. Basically, I'm going to extend this round one additional week of BLCDs providing, you know, I'm not totally stalled out when the time comes. And then taking an extra two weeks and doing the suggested five weeks in P4 this round because it's my second round. And hopefully that'll bring me more success in my final 21-day round. I'm excited. I can't wait. All right, guys. I'll let you go now. Bye.